I qualified in 2011 and I've been working for two and a half years in intensive care in Barnsley and then I started work at um, Manor Park Surgery as a practice nurse in May. My background before coming into practice nursing was the Young Adult Oncology Unit. I was there for six years in the Live Unit before that. I was qualified for nine years before I came into practice nursing. My background before coming into practice nursing was nothing really. <laughs> I came straight from university. The week after I qualified, I started as a practice nurse and I have now been a practice nurse for coming up to four years. Well, after working for such a long time in intensive care, I started to feel that I wanted to help patients more before they got that poorly rather than looking after them as they're really, really poorly. I chose practice nursing as a career because um, from a lot of my placements in the community, I loved the diversity, I loved um, the community setting. My last placement was with a practice nurse for four months and I fell in love with the job. I just loved everything about it. Probably the diversity is one of the biggest challenges. You never know quite what's going to quite going to walk through the door. There is so much to learn, but that's always a good thing, um, especially when you're so well supported. I had a structured induction um, following the RCGP competency framework, um, which will take me about 12, 18 months to complete all that. The massive knowledge you've got to know about all the different things like ear care, smears, all your chronic illnesses and your baby immunisations and I think as well when you face a problem there's not always a simple answer, there's a lot more to it than what you think. My biggest achievement is just passing my nurse prescribing course. Um, up until that point I've been doing course after course um, and I feel the learning is endless. There's so much knowledge to gain from some courses. Today, I think my biggest achievement is giving baby immunisations without being terrified and shaking. Probably my biggest achievement has to be um, getting up and going with, with my clinics on my own, um, of managing my own patients and having patients come out of, out of the consultation happy with what I've done for them. I think I was prepared for the diversity of practice nursing, as I say having my final year being in the community, but it has been challenging and I think there's a lot of communication skills to gain through the diversity of patients. Understanding the way they want to discuss something with you would be completely different from one person to the next. I wasn't really prepared for the, the diversity of practice nursing, I don't think. Um, I knew the basics of it, I didn't realise how much more there was, like there's a lot of learning to go on and loads of study days that you can access to continue your knowledge and I think you always need to be up to date and because you're not in a second care setting where that information is brought down from the top, it's more going out and seeking that information yourself. For anyone wanting to come in or thinking about coming into practice nursing, I'd say go for it. It's a really good opportunity. If you want to be a practice nurse, I would say absolutely go for it. Um, there's no need to, to start off in the hospital setting. If you are dead set on being a practice nurse, you need to stick, stick to your guns really and go for it. I think it's a good idea to take someone in from different cares and different backgrounds because they always bring new things to the table. And even if you've just qualified, there's always things you've learned as you've been training that you could bring to the table as well. And I think the main thing really when you're employing a nurse is finding the person that fits your team um, rather than thinking about their experience. In the next 12 months, I plan on becoming a nurse mentor so I plan on taking on student nurses and be able to mentor them in practice and I want to work towards getting my masters through doing the mentorship and the prescribing course they've both given me credits towards getting my masters in the future. In the next 12 months I'm planning to complete a course at Sheffield Uni it's um, called Introduction to Practice Nurse um, which really has all the study days that you can access all in one year all in one place and I know that Leeds are also working towards doing this kind of a scheme um, and hopefully from there going on to doing the chronic illnesses. Complete the RCGP framework competency um, 
I'm currently about to start my uh, cytology course um, and I've got lots of other courses already booked up and lined for so finishing that clinic knowing that you've that you've helped somebody help somebody with something that might feel pretty mundane at the start of it but is actually pretty big for them good day for practice nursing for me while I'm still early on in me it's starting the career really is a smoothly run clinic where at the end I'm really well organized and everything's gone well um, and I've hopefully made a difference to some patients a good day in practice nursing for me is having a patient walk out happy it's having them really really pleased with the service that you've given them um, a fantastic day is having somebody's wound heal them walking out and it's healed and they don't have to come back again or it's changing somebody's inhaler so that their asthma is better controlled just giving the patient more independence increasing their health